Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today we are going to speak regarding new season, new season update and what's coming uh, for us to a season 3 or season T1 which can be called Rage of Dragons. Here are a lot of uh, new stuff, a lot, lot of improvements, so let's dig dive, uh, dig inside and let's see what's going to happen to our game in the future. So, new season's name will be Rage of Dragons. Like, after we're gonna complete season 2+, plus, we will be starting a new season. Uh, of course, a new Tamaris map. Uh, uh, like, update. Every season there is a new Tamaris map. Not a good, not a uh, bad thing. Uh, brand new season policies, allowing you to formulate your own unique strategy. So, we are getting, again, new policies. Last season, they changed the policies. Um, I don't know how good it is, because it's just one season since we are using the new policy system. But for now on, we're gonna get a new system. I hope this system will stay with us, because um, changing the system of the policies every uh, season is not a good look, in my opinion. Introducing the amazing new season talent system. So, we are getting a new talent system for our heroes. Nothing is written here what kind of talent system it will be. Rather other than uh, like if you want to focus on melee attacks, range combat, or building, uh, like every different way of uh, playing has a new system, new talents, I guess. So in this new season, we get a new map, we get a new uh, policies, and we get a new talents. Pretty interesting because it's the first time since I have seen talent changes to the Call of Dragons. Let's see how they will do it or how. Uh, in the end, everything will plan out. Smoother route to prosperity. Uh, we are getting new heroes, which we already know. Uh, Bertrand will be magic PvP skill, which is amazing attributes for a uh, mage or any hero. PvP is amazing. Skill is most important aspect for a mages. And magic, of course, mage hero. So Bertrand will be available from Lucky Spins and Wheel of Destiny, which, which means uh, Bertrand is for a free-to-play players and... Tohar, Magic Garrison and Support, is for from Wheel of Destiny and Strongest Lord Events, which means for pay-to-win players. So, uh, let's speak regarding like uh, Magic PvP skills, amazing attributes, Magic Garrison Support, interesting one, first Garrison Mage uh, Legendary Hero, here it comes. I'm interested what kind of uh, Garrison skills this um, Tohar will have. So, let's see, let's wait. Uh, they will be introduced pretty pretty soon, uh, at the beginning of the new season, I guess. So, let's wait. We are getting new artifacts, of course, Magic PvP Assault. I guess it's a Bertrand's artifact, which is going to be available from the uh, Forge of the Light and Riches of the Forest events. Also, surprising enough, we are getting epic artifacts. It's the first time we are getting epic artifacts in this game, and I'm really enjoying it because... We, are, we have never gotten any epic heroes or epic artifacts since the beginning of the season. We are lacking them, so I, I totally agree that we need more epic stuff in the game. So, Sunfly Hammer, Guardian's Runic Longsword, Steelheart Avenger, uh, Lakeside Rhapsody, Dagger of Betrayer, or all available from the Forge of Light event. Uh, not a good... Uh, introduction to the new uh, artifacts because we can get them only from Forge of Lights. It will be better if they will add these artifacts into the normal uh, chests. But let's see, let's see how they will introduce them. Let's see how what kind of artifacts this will be. Uh, new pets are introduced. Two new pets. One name is Shadow Fedrake and uh, Bruin Bear. Uh, another flying uh, uh, pet and another bear. Okay. Fine, let's see. They are improving a little bit turrets. Uh, like uh, uh, each player can now build a maximum of two turrets, previously three. It's a good idea because there were, were a lot of turrets around the map. It was almost impossible to move around or even fight. Uh, adjust spires. Spires can no longer attack aliens behemoth. Increase damage dealt by spires. Adjusted war skill, uh, warped skill values. Split, uh, split pain bloom. Three stars with every... Okay, they are just adjusting, nerfing and buffing some Warpets skills. Not a big deal in my opinion, because Warpets are 
for now more more of a cosmetic stuff than like like a big impact on the war or any other aspect of the game you will now receive recommendations uh, for which skills to teach your warped okay game is helping us uh, on which skill is good for a different warped uh, master uh, improve the appearance of city buildings giving your city a sleek new style again uh, updating the graphics of the game always a good idea uh, call of dragons is very far and very like it's number one game regarding graphics for a kingdom builder games that's like simple as that uh, signif other improvements uh, significantly increased the maximum number of occupiers like village uh, occupiers are increased uh, you can now retain up to 100,000 merits per week thank you finally like uh, 20,000 merits was nothing which we are already in a late game everybody is fighting and 20,000 20, merits are a really low amount uh, 100,000 merits is great now we can uh, keep 100k uh, merits per week amazing change uh, i support it 100 percent reduce the difficulty of capturing beasts in the field uh, great because it was sometimes it was really hard to capture some beasts especially a striped bear because of the healing uh, added information about heroes likes and dislikes available on their info page okay like story stuff uh, great uh and even richer combat experience. So we are changing some combat experience in Call of Dragons. Artica artifact skills auto cast and easier casting. Uh, artifact skill casting is now easier. Top of clicks the artifact skill icon, and the, the system will uh, recommend a suitable target. So basically, uh, artifacts will be automatically applying this skill. Uh, I don't know how this change will affect the game. Uh, let's see. Maybe it's a good one. Maybe it's a bad one. Maybe. It was better for us to uh, like simply click and see where we are attacking with our artifact, or maybe developers have, have something in mind and they think that auto casting the uh, other artifact skill is important for the game. Let's see a new change, pretty interesting. I don't know how to react to this change until I will see it. So at first, let's see the new change whenever it will come up, and then we're gonna have a conversation. New artifact skill autocasting feature unlocks at city level 10 when uh, necessary conditions are met. Artifact skills will be automatically cast. This feature has a 2 second wait time. You can enable and disable this feature for different artifacts. The last part is amazing. Simply if we don't enjoy the autocast feature, we can disable it and we can play how it was in the past. Dragon Trail improvements, uh, like certain stages have become solo escort, tower defense, yeah, more fun to Dragon Trail, uh, like it was pretty basic in my opinion, just killing like 5 legions with your 5 legion, and in the end you are getting a small reward. Uh, more uh, variety is better, solo is court, tower defense, or behemoth rage at stage are great to have. Added simple mode in the middle of the in intense battles, a pop-up will appear, allowing you to enable simple mode. Reducing the, reducing the amount of unit information shown on the screen. Perfect change. Like, whenever there is a 100% versus 100% wars, uh, it's really hard to understand what's going on in the map. That's my opinion. Uh, and a lot of legs, a lot of ping. So this improvement will give us even better war experience in this game. While I think uh, for a Call of Dragons, war was like inner world combat was one of the most unique and most perfect features in the whole game. 100% agree. Great uh, change. Uh, improved Behemoth combat. Uh, in Season 2, servers where the rules resets have already taken effect. Reduced occupation and elite rate difficulty for uh, Giant Bear, Frost Giant, Sander Rock, Hydra, Necro Giant. Reduced occupation difficulty for Magma Demon and Frost Dragon. Well, they are listening to... Uh, community feedback we have been saying that the giants are getting too much strengths they are too hard to capture so they are reducing reducing the strengths of the giants uh, or behemoths in general uh, what else improved roots of war observation feature okay um, not a not so important but good thing to have uh, what else is important here like other improvements are like some fixed issues, fixed bugs. Also, we're gonna get more uh, events. 
like new events will be called uh, the Lunar New Year, Dazzling Reverly is coming. Uh, in this event, we're gonna get a new city theme, avatar frames, nameplates, um, like it will be seven day series of the events. Uh, Festival Machine is coming back, which is pretty good event for a free to play player. Trial of the Beast, I think it's a new event. Uh, Treasure Hunt, um, again, good event for a free to play player. While the Society Quiz is still here. So, like other event, other things uh, which we are getting uh, from this update is new events and some good events which um, have been performing pretty well. Uh, an improved alliance system, uh, improved display for information of alliance war screen when an alliance building comes to under attack for multiple members of the same enemy alliance. Co combat information will be merged together and presented in a single report. Good thing, because whenever some building was attacked by a couple of legions, everything was red in our screens, and it was pretty annoying. Uh, good stuff, uh, some small uh, upgrade, which we had already. Uh, more accessible uh, map, like uh, markers, new interactions, uh, acceleration events, and so on. So, most important here is, of course, uh, changes uh, to behemoths, uh, changes to Dragon Trail, change to Artifact, Autocast feature, uh, like Merits, 100,000 uh, Merits per week, which gonna be kept, uh, new heroes, new talents, so, lot of things to uncover, lot of things to check, let's see how everything will pan out, I hope a uh, whole uh, patch and whole update will be successful, because I simply want this game to be popular and to be great, so we're gonna have a bigger community in the whole game. Yeah, that's all I wanted to discuss with you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Uh, See you very soon.